Jay, come on into my kitchen with me today. I have a surprise for you. We had a, a couple of people say they wanted to see on Instagram the bread that, that was cooked, um, that was baked. And so I have a special guest to come and bake this bread with me because I did not bake it. But my son, Evan, did. Hi! <laughs> okay, now what do you want me to do? I want you to measure out the flour. Which is how much? That is going to be uh, two and, uh, nope, that's going to be one and three fourths. One and three fourths. Because this is one and a half. Uh -huh. And how much? We're trying to get the three to three and a half. Oh, so we only need two more. Because you got one and a half, two go. and a half, th three and a Who, half. Who's got the, uh, who's all educated with the math degree? <laughs> she is. We're going to use a bread machine. I don't know if you guys have a bread machine. That's what we're going to do because it's very easy. Mm -hmm. And make sure to put this little blade in the bread machine. Because there's been many times that I've had to stick my hand through the floury sludge to put it in here. So just make sure you do it before. Okay? Okay. So do you put the liquids in first or you do you put the flour in first? I put the flour in first. Okay. And it's all wheat? Is that what it is? This is, this is wheat, regular, just wheat, whole wheat flour. Mm. And this is whole wheat white. I wasn't sure what the difference was. The whole wheat white is just a different grain. It's just a, a different wheat and it's lighter. It's not white flour, but it is made from a grain that is softer, I believe. So here's one cup and then you can hand it back to me. Okay, so while she's doing that, I'm going to measure out the the brown sugar. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's and that is a tablespoon. A tablespoon of compacted brown sugar. And then you can also measure out the milk, which is just one cup. Cup of milk? And we're using almond milk. Today. Almond milk, because this is a vegan show. And we're using unsweetened almond milk. Don't want to use cow's milk. So we got that. And then we're going to put in two teaspoons of yeast. Two teaspoons, yeah. Dry yeast. What, what that, that little container over there? This is salt. Uh huh. This is salt. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a teaspoon and a half of salt. We can't use any salt, but we always. I'm use just it. using kosher salt. Uh, whoops. This is a fourth of a cup of liquid sweetener. Mm -hmm. uh, you can check out my mom's sugar salt, sugar replacement show over here. If you guys wanna check that out. Okay, do you put it in here first or you just pour it right in? I just pour it right in. Okay, pour it right in. Get it all. Get it all. Every single drop. And then I'm gonna we're gonna pour the milk in. One cup. And this this is four tablespoons of vegan butter, I guess you could say. Yeah. It's like a mixture of oils and some seeds, nuts, and maybe some cat toenails or something. <laughs> So, you're going to put it in the bread, bread machine, it should take about two hours. Get out of the bread machine, kind of knead it a little bit, then you put it in a pan. But you also need one of grease and flour your pan before you put the, the, the dough in. Let it rise for about 20 minutes. I kind of let it rise for a little bit too long, but let it rise in a warm place. You put it in the oven, about 350 for 30, 20 to 30 minutes until it's about golden brown, and then you'll have, bam, this monstrosity. <laughs> I realized that I probably should have put it in two separate loaf pans. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut it, I'm gonna sample it, we're gonna love it. He usually makes rolls for me, and um, they're, just, they're just really, really good. Yeah, you don't have to make a loaf. You can make rolls, you can make little loaves, you can, do Even whatever you want to with hot dog bread. rolls or whatever you want to just shape it bef as you before you let it um, rise. Mm. Mm. Good. I guess it tastes like right. Okay, good. He's a good baker. He's also a good cook too. It tastes better with some butter on it. <laughs> okay, so that's it. So thank you so much for joining us with my friend, my son, my videographer my editor. We'll hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. Toodles!